While swimming conditions are good today, they aren't always. After a lot of rain, a lot of runoff can end up in this water. Jump in and cool off. It's one of the best ways to enjoy the 4th of July. It wasn't, it wasn't a good place to come. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of stories. We heard a lot of things and seen a lot of things with, you know, coming to shore and yeah. stuff. So yeah. we just kind of stayed away from it. Cleveland natives like Sheen Friesen have seen the lake come a long way. On days like today, they appreciate signs like this one at Edgewater Park, notifying swimmers of the water quality. Today, it's good and gets a green flag. It, it kind of makes people feel secure about coming yeah. versus not really knowing what's going on in the water. So I, th I think that's pretty cool. It always looks, uh, you know, very, very clean. Um, you know, there's no trash on the beach. They do a wonderful job of maintaining that area. But that doesn't mean water quality is just as clean as the beach. A majority of the bacteria in lakes we swim in comes from runoff, which includes everything from animal feces to motor oil. Local and daily Edgewater Beach visitor Ryan Hagenbu tries to know what the water will be like before he hits the beach with his dog Benz. It's very helpful and I try to be aware of you know what the current conditions are. After a heavy rainfall, conditions are likely to change, with runoff making its way to water with enough bacteria, it can prompt a closure. You can check to see if your beach is closed or at risk of closing here. The Ohio Department of Health runs BeachGuard, a map updated every day monitoring bacteria and algal toxins. The U.S. Geological Survey publishes the Ohio Nowcast, which looks at overall water quality at Lake Erie beaches. These sites are typically updated by 10 a.m. each day. We have a link to both of them at this story on our News 5 app. Reporting from the East 55th Street Marina for News 5, I'm James Girardi.